I, I, I hope you're getting something from this. I really do hope that this week would have been a blessing to you. We're at day five. We're at day, we're on Friday. And look at it. Look at where we are now. Hear what the Bible says in verse seven. It says, but if you refuse to do what is right, sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. And this is the part I want you to get this morning. But you must subdue it and be its master. You don't have to give in to the urge or the temptation. You don't have to follow the crowd to do evil. The Bible says that sin is crouching at your door. But you know, doors have a way of appearing in scripture because Jesus stands and knocks on the door. And the knock is really to ask you to open to him. But while Jesus is inside, sin is also crouching at that same door asking to come in. But you can subdue it. It means not by will, not by sheer willpower or din of chance. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about by surrendering to God and being obedient to his will, we subdue sin. We put temptation in its place. We resist the devil. We reject that which he puts on the table. That's what Christianity is all about. We think Christianity is about this and about that. Uh -uh. It's really about honoring God and resisting sin. The devil is not as powerful as you think because if you can subdue him and master sin, it means that you can overcome evil and succeed over the devil. When the Bible says he's under our feet, the picture to my mind is of a victor having his foot on the head of his captive and declaring that he is victor. And God has made us more than conquerors. If sin is crouching at the door, we can master it. Today, you're not just the master of your own destiny, God is, but you could be the master of your own sinful inclination or desire. I hope you run riot over the devil. I hope sin does not overcome you, but that we overcome sin.